We need to create an energy and a framework to create a generation of doers, not just dreamers. And that's why it's my honor to introduce uh, one of those doers uh, who's part of this remarkable program that we established a few years ago called the California Climate Corps. The happiest people in the world are those that volunteer. The tallest people are those that bend down on one knee to help lift other people up. And to see the energy, the passion, and action of these young people displayed all across the state of California uh, that just haven't gotten the memo. Uh, they don't buy into the cynicism, the negativity, and the fear, and the division. Um, in so many ways, they're the antidote to all of that. Uh, and China uh, is one of those remarkable young leaders uh, that's taking her action and passion locally and is driving change uh, and inspiring others throughout the state of California. And so it's my honor to introduce China Tai. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be here. My name is China Tai. I'm a 2019 UC Riverside graduate. I majored in sustainability studies and grew interested in community-led climate advocacy. I currently serve as an AmeriCorps member and a California Climate Action Corps fellow at White Pony Express, an organization that is committed to aiding those in need. We help combat climate change and fight food insecurity by diverting fresh, healthy foods from landfills and redistributing it to underserved communities. In other words, we're rescuing surplus food and giving it to the people most in need. Our work also has another important benefit. When we reduce the edible surplus food from ending up in landfills, we're also reducing methane, a harmful pollutant that is a major driver in the climate crisis. Our work took on a new meaning during the recent spate of punishable storms in California when we helped the unhoused by giving them tarps and other necessities. Because of the recent storms, they lost everything they owned. So when we helped the unhoused through the treacherous storms, that is a part of us taking action and helping those in need. So you see, Californians live in the consequential crisis of the climate. Climate change affects us all, and it disproportionately affects those that are most vulnerable. For my generation, this is the issue of our time. So that's why I am so proud that we have a commander-in-chief that believes this to his core. He has taken bold climate action since day one by securing the most consequential climate legislation in history. He has been a powerful leader in the fight against climate change, and the future generations will be better for it, here in California and all across America. It is my honor to introduce President Joe Biden. Well, thank you, China, for that introduction. Governor Newsom, I tell you what, it's nice to be here, as you said, working on something that's a positive thing going forward 